Hello, my name is Andreas Ozelski. I want to show you the ASX Package Explorer. I have opened an ASX file and we see an AAS from a VDMA Fluid demo. Uh, by the Package Explorer we can view it. So for example, let's look into the nameplate submodel here or uh, other submodel like handover documentation or technical data uh, which are provided in this AAS. By uh, the Package Explorer, uh, you can of course also edit it. So let me change uh, to edit mode. And you see here on the right, with edit mode, you get a lot of controls. There are also a lot of hints like here on the bottom for mandatory information or uh, if the syntax is not correct. And uh, so very easily uh, you can make changes or insert further elements into the AAS. The ASX Package Explorer also includes various assistants. Here these gray lines where the information is easier structured for the user uh, to enter it besides entering it in the uh, model directly. So for example, especially in the handover documentation, you get a nice view of the documents and then can also view and open the document in here. Now let us connect to a server. This is a server here on adventshellio.com with various AASs. And uh, this server here includes security. Uh, the link to the REST API is this one. And in the Package Explorer, now let's connect to the repository. So we are connecting. And the Package Explorer loads the directory. This repository is configured that the first AAS, I double click on, can be loaded without authentication. But for any other AAS, uh, the user is requested to authenticate. Uh, we are connected to an open ID server there. To have it better readable, you see the self configuration page here. And on that open ID server are root certificates. Which, can, uh, which are used to check the user certificates and are also used to filter user certificates. And uh, I simply go on here and we do not look on the debug messages coming. But here on my computer, I have two valid cases, one from Phoenix Contact, one from Industry 4.0 platform. Let me just choose one and we go on, get an access token and are authenticated. Um, just to mention it, on that server here on the bottom, we have the security settings for the server and the related meta model with the policies. Finally, I have also connected uh, to another server which includes real-time data, which includes time series data. I download this here and uh, uh, here we see the time series data. The Package Explorer includes a nice viewer for such data. So let me just double click. On the top uh, we see uh, in the viewer to the right the actual values and uh, here on the bottom we also 
see historical values which are stored as time series and we may uh, also open this in a separate window uh, to zoom into uh, so such functions are also part of the package explorer and also uh, in this data you find examples of signing uh, so that it's really clear that this is a trusted source so here in the RS in the AS you see the signature and also again here the certificate chain uh, by the creator of the data. So thank you very much for listening.